Okay, so I'm back. It only took 20 days for me to come back here for my repair. Never realized all the controversy this job was gonna create, but hey. It is what it is. I stopped and made sure the fasteners in case I couldn't find what I left here last time. Now I have the correct motor. fast size cap does it call for five three seventy what I'm talking about Anybody upset that I don't take your abuse, you can just go fuck yourself. That I might have to edit. But you're coming to me with that nonsense. I'm not coming to you with that. If you think I'm such a bad technician, that's great. It's even better is that you're watching me and you think I'm a bad technician. Let's not kill the blade. I want to reuse that. I should go back to school. I dropped the screw. I think this washer's just in my way, so forget that thing.
I wish my company would get the silverish gray stuff. They're getting this. They've been told by somebody that this makes a good heat paste with the copper in it. Now when you're doing this, make sure that you're properly inside the shroud. Need a little bit of greasy lube inside here. This will be the next controversy that this is not a lube. <laughs> I love to see people explain that one, that this is not a lubricant. And the theories behind why it is not a lubricant. It's grease. How is it not? But you guys, I'm all open ears to this stuff, so feel free. So let me know why it's not. Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out everybody. I'm getting my channel locks. Channel locks, channel locks, look at my channel locks. These are channel locks. You're right, adjustable wrench. As far as I'm concerned, the best adjustable wrench on the market. or something on it. Can't ratchet around what you're working on with regular crescents. Everybody can say they like whatever they like because you know what? It's not the tool that makes the mechanic, it's the mechanic's knowledge that gets the job done. A little more, not much. I love when I do that. It's the wrong direction. I'm checking to see who's going to be like, hey, did he go in the wrong direction? And then truck out and pretend like he didn't. My last video, guys, I did go in the wrong direction with my puller at first. I wasn't pretending to check out my puller after that. I was checking it out. I was amazed that it came out. Since I've never had it pull out before. Man.
That Dennis Leary song is coming to my mind right now. Because it's my job. I pick and choose the tools that make my job easiest. I respect everybody telling me what tools I should use and how I should do different things. I have no problem with that. But just because I'm not a fan of impacting everything, because I see the damage it does, This was common. Anybody who commented on the last one, this is your fault. I'm not using the impact. So I would have used it. But I've never had so many people tell me how I should do my job ever before in my life. That video came out. And I will probably never do this by hand again after right now. This is just principle. This is my job. This is what puts the cheese on my table. Fifty five, perfect. And then I'm going to go five, four, seven. Or five seven, I'm gonna go more of the four seven. Oh, I was gonna show everybody this. You can use actually to tighten the hub on that blower motor. Eighth bit, where did it fall to? Hey, there's my missing knife. I've been looking everywhere for that. Sure, I'll do a tool bag tour right now. I just gotta get this done. Battery compartment for my radio. I've been looking for that too. I actually like when I'm not recording and I can listen to the radio. When I'm recording, I'm not allowed to, or else it's a copyright infringement. No three eighths. It's okay. Perfect, as long as the casing fits around it. I don't have it wired yet, I know. I just want to see if I have to go make a bracket or if this will be good. It looks like it will be good. Say on here what the motors are doing. No, it doesn't. Okay, whatever. The motor will. Purple brown cap and blackless line. So purple can go contact or cap. Oranges go into my compressor. Yep. 
dropping things. Five I put in the back. <laughs> push it, don't push it. Push it, don't push it. You guys are funny. Let's just come to one one simple conclusion. We're all trying to get the same thing done. We're all working trying to do the best we can for every customer we come into contact with. We all have different ways. I don't know why. I'll push it live and all of a sudden I'm like jumping right there. But we all have different ways of how we do our work. In the end, it's the only thing that matters is the outcome. As long as people are doing the best they can for their customers. None of my wires are gonna get pinched. Black, okay. These are connected, these aren't loose. Always check your contact there. I can't believe I put all those screws in by hand. I never would have done that in the past. I gotta play around with you guys. Hold up. There's that, sounds like there's a piece of paper or a stick. <laughs> Try it again. It sounds like there's something. Something hitting. just worked its way out I didn't see anything stuck on the blade probably a piece but I didn't see anything shoot out of it that reminded me of like a little twig or a leaf or something it was on it If you're new to my videos and you haven't seen it before, I love the, these wrenches here. These pliers wrenches. I've been using this thing for more than two years now. It's a great wrench. I bought the 10 inch too to go along with it. I don't want to carry around a bunch of adjustables in my service bag, so this way I have different wrenches when I get to a roof. That could handle most sizes. Twelve eight on the compressor. 
one two on the fan, one one. I still want to know what was making that vibrating noise, but. These wires I'm gonna save. I need to make some tools. It's like clamps I save, I save everything. My wife tells me I'm a hoarder. Like these are the old screws from a munchkin. I just worked them for the burners. They were a little beat up and stripped. So whoever was doing them before me was using the wrong size Phillips bit. They're using a number two instead of the next size up. I think one of these alligator clips are broken. Got to play with my jumpers. can all go in the garbage. Newer ones out to keep. This video is a long time in coming. Until this video, I never encountered what trolls were really on the internet. And well, this opened me up. It really did. It made me realize that, hey, even though I'm doing these videos to help others, I get nothing out of it. I don't get paid. I don't, none of that stuff. I'm just doing this to help people. And I got people coming at me. Oop, I dropped my marker. I need to go back to school. <laughs> I love it. People are telling me I don't know what I'm doing. I have to go to school. If that's the case, then how did I know that the capacitors were wrong? Well, I didn't know the 80 was wrong at first on this job. But how did I know that somebody sabotaged it? Or, I mean, yes, it's... Could they have not known what they were doing? It's a possibility. It is. It's a possibility. But then why would they tell the person who owns this machine that they got it running but they don't think it's going to last. I'm not a big fan of this. If I didn't buy it, I probably wouldn't still be using it. The 5 16 doesn't do it, but the quarter inch side, I always lose it as I'm impacting in a fitting. And then I walk away, next thing I know, I'm somewhere else, and this is what I'm looking at. These handles are great. I can go from a, sh a regular to a long. Now all of a sudden I want a screwdriver. I have a screwdriver. I want torques or whatever I want. I'm just changing out the bits. I mean, I like this, they can pull different kinds, any kind of hex shank fittings, go right in. Amps are going up a little. Compressor amps though. 22.5 my condenser fan is 1.3 somebody wanted me to show an up close of this i have no load so i'm nowhere near 22 i'm at 13. i wasn't even near full load amps anyway when i had the 80 on it i don't remember i think it was 16 or 17 but then again it was i don't remember the temperature i'd be a liar to say i remember Fans one one. 
and stop it real fast. Make sure I have everything picked up. Round it up into one place. So this way I could just get right off the roof. Let's give the motor a minute to be off though. We can't start it too quickly. I just don't see what was causing that little bit of clicking noise. Something was probably on that blade I didn't see. just made they probably had to make it for this job no I'm kidding <laughs> I didn't order it until somewhere where I told them to order it around the third or fourth of October today is October 20 third yeah today is October 23rd so Eli Apple to be traded all right, get rid of them. Okay, here we go. curious for that noise will it come back will it not it's not that hot of a day so this compressor should come right on back down it's a little tiny jet that's not the one making all the noise the one making all the noise is going that way and that's that This is the conclusion of the sabotaged AC system. As far as I'm concerned, I do believe this was a sabotage. Others feel differently on that, but I think it was. Sorry if the sun glare is making it hard to see the video. Few of my co-workers have worked here. It's a small world. Utility companies buying up HVAC companies and destroying it. That's what happened here. I heard it was a great place to work, Fritz. Keyspan ran it to the ground. Just what I heard. I heard some more stories from several guys. And they're good mechanics. Can't get to that screw, so.
actually it started too soon before the compressor is ready but it came on and this is the way every machine should be when you're walking away from it running till next time i'm the hvac hacker and i'm out